I just got a call from LJ. She's down at the Kawasaki dealer in Elgin. So I'm going to go down there and visit with her and her mom. I'm not sure if she knows, but now the original Kawasaki dealer is now a Honda dealer. The Kawasaki dealer moved a few blocks away over on DuPage Street, so... texted her back but I haven't heard which dealership she's actually at so what I will do since it's on the way is I will just stop at the old Kawasaki dealer which is the new Honda dealership and I also need to turn my idle down a little bit I rebuilt the carburetors. Well, didn't rebuild them so much. I just kind of took them apart, cleaned them out. I'd been dreading doing this, and the last few times I rode this bike, I could pretty much tell that the carburetors needed cleaning. And I decided, well, I didn't really feel like it so much yesterday, so I went out in the morning, and I just figured, well, I'll just get the bike prepared. I'll drain the gas tank take the seat and the gas tank off and then that way I'll have it ready for the next day which would be today and uh, after I did that I'm like well that went pretty fast so I'll just pull the two carburetors off and then just let them set and I'll work on them the next day which is today and they went off they got off I pulled them off pretty fast so well, as long as it's going so smooth, might as well start taking them apart. So long story short, I just kept doing one more thing and one more thing. And I figured, well, before you knew it, I had to I had them tore apart, cleaned, back together on the bike. And the only problem I had, I created myself while I was spreading all the parts out on a nice clean piece of paper to keep them flying all over the place and getting lost I uh, put my hand down on the paper and I don't know if any of you guys know but the if you worked on carburetors you know the idle adjustment needles are very very um, soft made out of brass and what I did was I with my palm of my hand I leaned against one of them and bent the tip of it so I was kind of sweating bullets while I was carefully rebending back the tip because it's made out of brass and it can snap and break real easily. And slowly but surely, being very careful, I bent it back straight so I didn't end up disabling the bike and having to go back to the dealer to get a carburetor part. I can reach down here and adjust the idle. That's nice about this, you can just reach down and it's a little plastic knob between the carburetors. So you can even, if you have a little bit of time in intersection, you can even adjust the idle. But for the most part, if you're not really fond of working on carburetors, dual carburetor bikes aren't always the most fun to work on because there's no real easy way you can't like move everything out of the way and just take them off easily you basically have to push pull shove bend and uh, hopefully not damage the intake and the out gaskets rubber gaskets as you're doing it so you've got to be kind of very careful and just kind of shove wiggle and jiggle and then putting them back, it's all the opposite where you're trying to push them back into place. And then you spend the time checking and making sure the rubber pieces seal all the way around on the intake and the out. But when you get it done and get it done right, it's a good feeling. Matter of fact, when I got done doing that, I was so ambitious 
because it went so fast there was a one of those small three-speed fans for in the house blowing air around and my wife brought it out to the garage and when you flip the switches on they would just barely be turning and I could see it was all full of all kinds of greasy fuzz and lint and so I took it all the way apart and cleaned it up put it back together and it worked too so I fixed two things in one day yesterday so that was a pretty good day so anyway let me know if you had one of those days too to where you just didn't feel like doing something and it just kind of you started it it went well enough that you kept going and going and going and you just finally got it done and maybe even some extra stuff besides so I think it's basically just giving myself a kick in the behind and just getting started and then I get into it and there's no problem after that I suppose if I'd had a really really big pain in the butt problem in the middle I would have been kind of disgusted but it's not like with carburetors on this bike like I haven't done them many many times before it's better now since the polar bear challenge where I use this bike in the winter time That way it doesn't just set and not get used and then the carburetors do tend to get all junked up. Yeah. So this is her neon green helmet, a youth small. Good thing you got your sunglasses on. Yeah. And this is the new R6, the resurrected R6. Jesus. Lori's mom. Hi Lori's mom. We're going over to the dealer. The new Kawasaki dealer. Hopefully I can find a place to park.